After making my Daniel Cohn video yesterday, I got a really interesting message about the potential of abuse. And this is a really important topic, especially since I know so many of you have seen Illumation's videos. So in this video, we're gonna discuss some of those topics. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community, try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, before I get started, um, this is actually a DM I got over on Instagram. So a lot of you know, I am trying to grow my Instagram to 10,000 followers so I can get that dang swipe up feature, but I wanted to announce that I am going to start doing Instagram giveaways, all right? This will help me grow, it'll help you get some stuff, so I'm gonna be giving away Rewired Soul merch, I'll be giving away some books, not only my books, but other mental health books. Some of you saw I did my mental health book review of 2018 of my favorite books. I wanna give some of those books away. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram with the notification bells turned on because I'm gonna start doing some giveaways really soon. So yeah, this is a DM I got over on Instagram yesterday. I know I get a ton, a ton of DMs from all of you. I try to reply to at least a couple of them a day, um, but I'm super busy obviously making videos, being on the Discord server, the Facebook group, my son, my girlfriend, and all of that. But anyways, this one really stuck out to me. And it says this, I'm watching your Daniel Cohn vid right now, and I find it uh, kind of really interesting because that's how I acted and how I was a lot of ways when I was that age. But I also know I had been through a lot of trauma by that point. I'm wondering if something may have happened to her or someone else in influencing her to act this way because I definitely needed to be coached to know how to act that way. Kids don't just know how to do that naturally. Anyways, really good video, I liked it a lot. This is an important subject. It's, when they said that, I'm like, you are right and we should discuss it. This is a mental health channel. A lot of you have come here from my Illumination videos. Um, abuse and trauma, childhood trauma is a big deal. So I will say this, I will say this right now, this is my big, that huge disclaimer, in no way, shape or form am I suggesting that Danielle Cohn has been through some sort of, uh, you know, like physical abuse, okay? In no way at all. Is it possible? Absolutely, it's possible for everybody, right? But I would never make a claim like that unless there was some evidence, maybe um, a, a case opened up against somebody, but it's definitely possible. Like this uh, young woman uh, who messaged me, she had a lot of the same behaviors. But when I was talking to this young woman who messaged me on Instagram, I talked about some other things that we should we should definitely talk about. It is important for anybody who has been through abuse or trauma, or even if your childhood was a little messed up even, because this can change the way that we act and it can explain some of the ways that we act, all right? So I'm gonna give a few possible explanations. Obviously, I don't know Danielle, I'm not diagnosing her, but from my experience, my knowledge of mental health, there's a few things that might be going on. So one of the first things I wanna talk about is the possibility of neglect, right? Emotional neglect, physical neglect, whatever it is. So as children, we crave attention, right? We need attention, we need to build a bond with our parents or with our caregivers or with other people. So what can happen to a lot of people is, is that when they don't get the attention from their parents or their caregivers or their family even, they start seeking attention in other ways, right? So with someone like Danielle Cohn, that can manifest into seeking attention online, seeking validation. The way that happens is our brain says, okay, well, if they're not giving us that love and attention, I need to seek it elsewhere. So my mom and I actually talked about this in a video I'm about to release over on her channel about dysfunctional families, but we can start seeking attention elsewhere. Like for me, for example, I grew up with an alcoholic mom. She did not give me that attention. So the way that manifested for me was I was always seeking the attention of women, okay? And that's something that happens on this subconscious level. We don't know that we're doing it, but this can also be the reason why people dress you know, provocatively and try to get attention that way. So what I want you to do, do me a favor, down in the comments, let me know. Let me know if you can relate to any of these things from your childhood. Like. Were you neglected as a child so you seek attention in other ways? Maybe it's from, you know, uh, 
potential partners, maybe it's at work, maybe it's for a friend. Do you have attention seeking behaviors? This is really important too, because I see a lot of children get misdiagnosed with ADHD for the way they act out in school, but a lot of them are being neglected at home, so they're acting out in school. You see what I mean? Like, this is why it's so important to get proper diagnoses because some people just have attention seeking behaviors and they don't have an actual mental disorder. The next topic I wanna talk about is there's a possibility that Danielle Cohn is trying to make her parents happy or her family happy, all right? Like, you guys, like I said in my last Danielle Cohn video, this isn't new. This is not new at all. There are so many shows out there, like what is it, like Dance Moms, and like they have those little childhood pageant shows and all of that. Like there are so many parents out there who are trying to have their kid be successful because they weren't successful, right? There's so many parents out there, which and it, and it breaks my heart. Um, like, like they try to get their kid to pursue a career that their kid might not be interested in. Maybe that's sports, maybe that's art, maybe that's music, maybe that's becoming a doctor, maybe that's becoming a lawyer or whatever it is. And what can happen is kids do that just to appease their parents, even though it's not making them happy, right? Like it seems like Danielle likes what she's doing, but I know a lot of you might be able to relate to this. You're doing things, you're pursuing a career path just to make your parents happy, right? And this is very important because we need to realize that our happiness cannot be based on what other people want us to do. Like, can you imagine being 30, 40 years old, being a doctor, a lawyer, an athlete or something, and you never had a passion for it? Like, think about that, you guys. Time is our most valuable asset. And I know these are difficult conversations to have with your family or your parents or whoever it is, but if they are pressuring you into a career path that you are not passionate about, you need to start setting setting up boundaries, all right? Like my parents never thought that I was gonna be doing what I'm doing, but they're so proud of me. And one of the reasons they're proud of me is because I'm happy, like I have a son, I have a son, and I do not care what he does with his life. I don't care how much money he makes. I don't need to go brag to anybody about what career path my child took. All I want my son to do is be happy with whatever he's doing, whatever that is, and I will fully support him no matter what. Like. I, I had to catch myself a few times because I used to be in like professional video games and stuff like that. So sometimes I'll like pressure him into that. I'm like, Chris, dial back, dial back. That's what you want. You gotta make sure that's what they want. You know what I mean? So as parents, we really just gotta support our kids. But if, you, if you're if you like, I don't care if you're a teenager, I don't care if you're in your 20s, I don't care if you're 13, 14 years old, like you got plenty of time to figure out what you wanna do and you need to do this. You. You have to take control of your life. You cannot live your life for other people because I swear to you, I swear to you, it will make you miserable. It will make you resent your parents or people in your life. So make sure you're doing what you want to do. But someone like Danielle Cohn can feel obligated to do something like this because she's bringing in a lot of money. She's bringing in a lot of money. Like somebody commented on my video yesterday and said, she's not a celebrity. She just has a lot of followers. And I'm like, Danielle Cohn is making more money than me and you combined, right? Like, and her parents are probably relying on that. Her family might be relying on that. And you guys, something that has come up too uh, uh, is when I say money can't make you happy. Like you guys, money might make you less stressed, but it can't guarantee your happiness, right? Like I see people saying, well, if I could pay my family's bills, then I'd be happy. No, because you pay your family's bills and you have no guarantee that that'll even make them happy. You have a false, unrealistic expectation that you buying something for somebody else is going to make you happy because they have less stress in their life too. And I hope that makes sense. The last thing I wanna talk about is how the message said like, you know, young people don't do these types of like, you know, provocative photos or sexy photos or whatever it is without being coaching. And what I was talking to her about on Instagram is like, I, I grew up in a much different time. Like if, if it was somebody who grew up in my time and like, I'm not super old, I'm only 33, but like in the nineties before social media and stuff, yeah, it would make sense that somebody would have to be coached in this. But you guys, like this is why we need to have conversations with our children about value systems because Danielle Cohn doesn't need to be coached by her parents. She doesn't need to be coached by, you know, a predator, if you will. Like, Look at social media, look at look at what our kids are learning. Like, look at people like Kit, the Kardashian family, right? Look at people like Tana Mojo, you know what I mean? Young people are seeing, and they're making these connections like, oh, if I could just be 
beautiful or maybe if I pose like this person and stick my butt out or do the duck lips or whatever it is, then people will like me, then I will get attention, then I will be popular, then I will be famous, da 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 da, right? So this is why we need to talk to our children about their value systems because so many kids are growing up thinking, and I know a lot of you do too, and you can leave comments on this as well. So many of us think, if I could get this many followers, then I'll be happy. If I could make this much money, um, then I could be happy, right? And what we're doing is, some of us are sacrificing our morals and values, and then we're confused, right? Then we get older and we're confused. We're like, oh my God, people only want me for my body. Not for my body, my body ain't that great. And like, let me, let me make it perfectly clear too. There's nothing wrong with this. Like, love your body, appreciate your body. If you got it, flaunt it, girl. Do your thing, all right? But we just need to check in with our value systems and we need to recognize like, is this healthy or unhealthy behaviors? But we also need to realize too, that our children don't even need to be coached by us anymore because they're being coached by social media, they're being coached by YouTube, they're being coached by magazines. They're being, does anybody read magazines? They're being coached by all these other things. We as parents need to coach them, right? Like it's good to be fit, it's good to be healthy. If you wanna be, you know, a bodybuilder or, you know, get physically fit or whatever the heck it is, Go ahead and do it, okay? But just realize that we are setting our kids up for failure if we're making them think you need to look a certain way in order to be successful, or you need to take these types of pictures in order for people to notice you, because that's not the way that things should be, all right? But anyways, let me know down in the comments below if you can relate to any of the topics that I went over growing up, whether you were neglected, whether you were doing things to uh, appease your family, or whether you were coached by like what you see on social media or the news or magazines or whatever it is, all right? But anyways, again, just a reminder, I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways over on Instagram, so make sure you follow me at The Rewired Soul with notification bells turned on, all right? But that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.